Welcome back. This is Chicken Milliken, owner of 9M Investments, and today we're going to be covering February's private performance numbers. So looking back to February, the first thing we always kind of cover is what were the public markets doing? Because that's what we always kind of compare our private investments to. And so in February, the S&P 500 was up 5.17%. NASDAQ was up over 5.3%. Absolutely outstanding numbers. Um, really, November, December, uh, you know, craziness. Well, February was right there with it. Um, on the flip side, the the ag, the index for the, kind of the overall bond area was actually down two percent. Um, so, depending on you know what you're comparing to, um, you know, equities portion of the public markets were outstanding. Uh, the kind of the bond side of the portfolio and the public side was down uh, quite a bit in February. So how does that compare to private equity that we use, private real estate that we use, and private credit? So starting off with uh, the private real estate, the Blackstone REIT uh, was up 0.62%, uh, now up 1.19% on the year, again with a very, very strong dividend of 4.6%. And as we always talk about, remember that is tax advantage and taxable accounts. So 85% of that is uh, tax free if we're using that for income. Moving Global Cities REIT up 1.7 or 0.7%. Uh, year to date now up 0.3% or 0.13%, sorry. Uh, and again, very strong dividend, 5.59%. Uh, that one's even stronger because it is 100% tax free if it's inside of a taxable account. Blackstone credit uh, up 0.9%, um, 1.9 on the year now. Again, very, very strong dividend of 10.4%. Carlisle Tactical Credit 0.8.6% on February. Now update, up to date, uh, year to date, sorry, up 2.1%. Um, again, another one with a very, very strong dividend. On the private equity side, um, the High Direct Private Markets Fund up. 2.19%, now up 2.14% after kind of a down January. Um, and then the BlackRock Private Rock, uh, BlackRock Private Investment Fund was up 0.88%, now up 1.32% on the year. So um, obviously the private markets aren't going to keep pace with a crazy month like that um, versus the public markets. But again, what we're trying to accomplish with those funds is over our market cycle, we should actually outperform S&P 500, but we're going to also do that at about a third of the volatility, um, which is for my clients an important piece of the pie because we want to make sure that can we level out those those crazy months and those uh, down months with uh, within the public markets that can happen. Obviously, in the the private credit space, still very very strong performance, uh, very very strong dividend, and then within the private REIT space. Uh, looks like we may have turned a corner a little bit after kind of a flat year last year. Uh, hopefully we can kind of get some some good performance moving forward. Now, you're comparing the, the REIT performance, uh, private versus public, very much outperformed the, the public side of those, but we'd like to get some, some more return there as well on, on the year. And I think part of the adjustment to the, the interest rate cycle, we're rising and now kind of falling a little bit. Uh, will kind of help with those cap rates that are so important when you start talking about the, the REIT space. So uh, again, this is a, a good month overall. Um, very happy with the numbers and very happy kind of where these are structured to, to move forward, to take advantage of certain things happening in the market. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I'll be happy to answer anything that you have. I hope you all have a, a great week and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.